Hello, my name is Mary Anning. My dog Trey and I search for fossils on the beaches of Lyme Regis. You might have heard of me. She sells seashells by the seashore? Well, that's me. I was born in 1799 into a poor family. Out of 10 children, only my brother Joseph and I survived. And I almost didn't. When I was only one year old, the lady who was holding me was hiding under a tree in the rain and we were struck by lightning. Sadly, the lady died, but I didn't. My father, Richard, was an amateur fossil hunter. He taught me how to find, safely excavate, and clean the fossils. Sadly, he died when I was just 11, so I had to sell the fossils that I collected from the beaches at my curiosity shop to help buy food and clothes. I went on to discover loads of cool fossils, including an ichthyosaur when I was only 11 years old, as well as the first intact plesiosaur and a pterosaur. These are now on display at the Natural History Museum in London. But when these creatures were first written about, the scientists who wrote about them often didn't credit me with the discovery. It wasn't all bad though. Some geologists would either come fossil hunting with me, buy my specimens for their collection, or would ask for my opinion, including William Buckland, Henry de la Beche, and Gideon Mantel, among others. If you want to find out more about some of the things that I discovered, then tune into the Science Discovery Day on the 19th of March to find out what curiosities I have in my basket.